you're very welcome back. Now, if you tuned into Love Island last year, then no doubt you fell in love with our next guest, whose positive vibes and vast selection of hats kept us entertained all summer. Now, since then, he's been a busy man, appearing in Celebrity Bake Off, getting his own TV show, and recently moving to France to continue his successful basketball career. Yes, to show off his talents even more, he's ordering us to love ourselves <laughs> with his new self-help book, you are dope and Ovi Soko joins us on the line. But first, here's a little reminder of his Love Island antics. Flexible hold, visible hold, mega hold, flexible hold. These cameras must be so annoyed with me just being close. I'm close. I'm tall, baby. I'm tall, baby. Arms out and legs out. There we go. There we go, your body's thinking. It's such a weird thing for, you know, a grown-up not to be able to swim. And since everyone around me sort of knows how to, everyone's got their input. And, and it's actually sort of neat. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Ovi, a very good morning to you. It's Anna and Simon here in the studio in Dublin. How are you? I'm doing great, guys. How are you guys doing over there? Thanks for having me. We are great. Pleasure. We're looking back on some of your highlights from Love Island. When you see those highlights, how do you feel, Ovi? Uh, I mean, some of them make me cringe a little bit, <laughs> but it's just funny, you know. Um, takes me back to good memories, good time. You know, it was a wonderful experience. So take, yeah. take us back to when you were approached, Ovi, about doing the show, because, you know, and we'll talk about it later on, like you, you have a career, you had a job. What made you think, you know what, I'm going to give this a go, I'm going to do it? Well, funny enough, um, I wasn't exactly approached. You know, I, I applied to go on the show. It wasn't my idea, first off. Um, it was my older brother's idea. He's a huge fan of the show. Uh, I wasn't all the way familiar with quite how big it was. Um, but anyway, uh, long story short, you know, I ended up applying for, for the show. And uh, it was just something different, something out of my comfort zone, something way out of the box. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to try something new. And you know what, it showed because I think a lot of the contestants go in there with an agenda and very clear strategies about how they're going to become very famous as a result of it. You just went in for a bit of fun. You weren't taking it too seriously. You were the first up every morning making everyone breakfast. So I think you had the right mind frame, didn't you? 100%, you know, I think in an environment like that, it's obviously a privilege to be there first off. There's tons of people who want to be involved in, in that show. Um, and, and I think the, the most important thing to do is just live in the moment and enjoy every day. So, you know, that's just how I sort of approached it. You know, it, it was a free vacation also. And a in wonderful terms of your villa, relationships... Wonderful weather. Sorry, Ovi. In terms of your relationships with people on the show, who would you say now you've kept in touch with or you're still friends with? Uh, definitely Amber. You know, I, I, I do check up on her, um, you know, as frequently as I can, just just to sort of keep an eye on her, you know, because it is a, it's a huge transition once you um, leave that show and all of a sudden you come out to this sort of mass following, which, you know, I don't think anyone on that show, you know, could have been prepared for. So, you know, I do check in with her. And I check in with some of the guys from time to time, you know. If I feel like there's anyone that I could see on social media from a distance that just might need a checking in, I'll shoot them a message, just be like, you know, I hope you're all right, I hope everything's going all right. Yeah, because mindfulness and positivity seem to be themes that run through your life to date so far. Tell us about the book, where the idea for the book came from in the first place and why you thought this is the next step. I'm going to try this. Well, funny enough, it's one of those things where, um, you know, I have, a, I have a journal. I've got a black, black book that I sort of write down all my goals, write down lists, write down uh, things I want to achieve one day. Um, and something that I wrote you know, I would say at least about between six months, six and six, seven months before I went on the show, I wrote down, you know, I want to create a product or service that will make people feel better than, better than themselves. Um, and it's going to reach thousands of people. Now, I didn't know how that was going to um, materialize. I didn't know how that was going to come into fruition or whatever, but I knew it was something I wanted to do. So, you know, seven, eight months down the line, I've gone on Love Island and I've come out and now there's this opportunity to write a book. Um, and initially, my first reaction was, you know, uh, maybe it's not for me. I don't think I've quite lived long enough to just give people a memoir. 
But then it, it dawned on me, it was like, okay, wait, hold on. This is an opportunity to give something back to people. This is an opportunity to um, help people uh, through some of the difficulties that I've had in my life that I know a lot of people uh, go through. So, you and know, at, that's at where the, the idea came At the from. time, Obi, when you wrote that note in your journal, like, you didn't know what that was going to look like, as you say, you know, how it was going to materialise, but did you have an idea that it was going to be more about making people feel better about themselves by what they do in their head as opposed to a physical thing, you know, as opposed to diet, or is it, does it all roll into one? Um, 100%, you know, when, when I wrote it down, you know, I, it was all about making people feel better, and I feel like when you want to make people feel better, it's all about fulfilment. Mm. That's what life really comes down to. Everyone wants to feel fulfilled. Everyone wants to have this sense of purpose. Um, and, you know, from experience, the only way people can have that true sense of fulfillment is by going down their very unique paths, you know, which is, you know, what I speak about a lot in the book. I talk about this internal compass that we all naturally have, that sometimes we, we lose track of or we go away from because of what the multitudes and the masses are doing, and we all want to fit in. Fair enough, but, you know, you could either fit in or you could follow your intuition, follow your internal compass and follow that sort of true path to happiness, you know, that is tailor-made for you. But you're very well placed to write a book like this because, of course, you're a professional sportsman, Ovi, so it's not like, you know, you're someone who's gone through reality TV and that process. You know about fulfilment and passion and drive and the importance of, you know, keeping your mental health healthy. 100%, you know, being a sportsman, it's, it's just as much as a physical battle, it's, it's a huge mental battle, you know. Um, you know the odds are stacked up against you pretty much from the beginning just because of the sheer number of people who want that same job that you're after. Um, and in my case, in my situation, I was sort of going down a very, very niche path, you know, um, especially coming from the UK, sort of aspiring to be a basketball player. It's not something that's very common, so it's mm -hmm. not something that... You know, I had confidence necessarily in just saying, oh, yeah, I wanted to be a basketball player. And, like, tons of people, you know, sort of understand that vision. Um, and so from a pretty young age, I had to say, all right, well, I either have to go down my own path, um, which is something that I know will make me happy and help me feel fulfilled, or I could try and fit in with everyone else, say I want to be a football player, go the traditional uni route, you know, which, you know, it just wasn't for me. In terms of the lockdown, Ovi, um, and I'm sure people will remember you in uh, the Bake Off, which you did, Stand Up For Cancer for Channel 4. Um, has, how's the baking gone during lockdown? Are you baking loads of sourdough breads and banana breads? Have you stuck with it? Are you still baking away in the kitchen? Uh, you know, baking <laughs> is all about precision. Baking. Yeah. <laughs> baking is all about precision. That's one thing I've learned. You know, I have yeah. the utmost respect for for people who can bake, um, I stick more so just to the cooking side of things. Yeah. You can go a little bit more of just the feel and, um, you know. Yeah, yeah it can, be, can, a, it can be a little improvise. bit looser just doing the dinner. But the... It can be a little bit loose, yeah, you yeah. know, baking. It's too precise, it's man. Five... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too precise, too precise for me. Five back seconds, back to the pancakes, Ovi. So you are in France <laughs> for the day job at the moment, is that right? And how's that working out in the midst of lockdown? Yeah, well, I'm in France. It's been great. Obviously, having the opportunity to have a change of scenery, be in a new environment. Mm. You know, I always love traveling and learning um, about new cultures. So from that perspective, it's been absolutely awesome. Obviously, to get back to basketball, it's been, it's been terrific. It's something that's been a passion of mine for a long time. But obviously, with the COVID and, and, and lockdown situation, you know, we have had three games so far postponed. Um, but then looking at the grander scheme of things, you know, as long as everyone's healthy and, and you know, we're, we're in good health and good spirits, that's the main that's thing. That's all that matters, matters. So Ovi, isn't it? Yeah, well, listen, you keep up the good work. Congratulations on the book. That is no mean feat, my friend. Uh, and you've lived up to every expectation we had. You are a genuinely nice man. We wish you every success in the future. Chang, thanks for joining us, Ovi. Thanks, Ovi. Take care. Thanks for having me, guys. What a nice man. Oh, so lovely. Now, all these Still in our hearts, too. Has you. you are dope is available online and in all <laughs> I thought good you were just saying you are dope. You are dope, <laughs> Obi. Uh, it's available online and in all good bookshops nationwide. Now, after the break, more autumnal daywear. Fashion is up next. <clears throat>